The Universal Ethics of the Ten Commandments The Ethical Framework and Educational Inclusion Part 1 The Ten Commandments are often perceived as a cornerstone of Judeo-Christian religious traditions. However, a closer examination reveals that these commandments transcend religious boundaries, embodying universal ethical principles that resonate with diverse cultures and belief systems. This paper argues that the Ten Commandments, stripped of their religious connotations, can serve as a robust moral framework within our social structures, including schools, promoting values that are inclusive and universally applicable. Furthermore, it will be demonstrated that incorporating these principles does not violate the principle of separation between church and state, as they are presented as ethical guidelines rather than religious mandates. Historically, the Ten Commandments were given to the Israelites as a set of ethical guidelines to ensure societal harmony and justice. At the time of their inception, formalized religion as we understand it today did not exist. Therefore, these commandments can be seen as a foundational moral and legal code rather than purely religious doctrine. This interpretation aligns with the notion that they were intended to create a just and orderly society a goal that remains relevant across all cultures and communities. The Ten Commandments can be summarized as follows. 1. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. 2. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. 3. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. 4. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 5. Honor thy father and thy mother. 6. Thou shalt not murder. 7. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 8. Thou shalt not steal. 9. Thou shalt not bear keltehain. Dust ek dusri ki help kertehain. Dust ek dusri koen satehain. Ski dust hamishah mara sat detehain. Kahi kuch bi hojai. Vuhmishah mari lai hotehain. Bhagvan men dust easily detehain taki hem apni zingi unke sat sher kar sken. The U.S. Constitution emphasizes the separation of church and state to ensure governmental neutrality in religious matters. However, this principle does not preclude the adoption of universally recognized ethical norms within public institutions. The inclusion of the Ten Commandments devoid of religious pretense can be justified on the grounds that they promote fundamental human values essential for societal well-being. The First Amendment to the Constitution states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. This clause is often interpreted to mean that the government should not establish an official religion, nor should it interfere with individuals' free exercise of religion. However, using the Ten Commandments as a moral framework does not necessarily constitute the establishment of religion. Instead, it can be viewed as adopting a set of ethical guidelines that are universally recognized and valued. Several legal precedents support the argument that the Ten Commandments, when presented as ethical guidelines rather than religious mandates, do not violate the separation of church and state. 1. Stone v. Graham, 1980 The Supreme Court ruled that a Kentucky law requiring the posting of the Ten Commandments in public school classrooms violated the Establishment Clause. However, the decision emphasized the religious intent behind the display. By contrast, presenting the commandments as part of a broader, secular curriculum on ethical behavior can mitigate this concern. 2. Van Orden v. Perry, 2005 The Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of a Ten Commandments monument on the Texas State Capitol grounds, noting its historical and cultural significance. This case underscores the possibility of framing the commandments in a non-religious context. 3. McCreary County v. ACLU of Kentucky, 2005 The court ruled against the display of the Ten Commandments in courthouses due to the evident religious purpose. However, it reaffirmed that displays with a clear, secular, educational intent might be permissible. These cases illustrate that the presentation and context of the Ten Commandments are crucial. Emphasizing their ethical and historical significance, rather than their religious origins, can align with constitutional requirements.
universal ethical principles. Thou shall not murder. The prohibition against murder is a fundamental ethical principle found in virtually every culture and legal system. From the Code of Hammurabi to modern legal frameworks, the sanctity of human life is universally upheld. The Sixth Commandment's prohibition against murder aligns with this universal principle, emphasizing the value of human life and the importance of protecting it. Many religious traditions and moral philosophies, including those outside the Abrahamic faiths, have condemned murder as a fundamental wrongdoing. This universal condemnation reflects the inherent value placed on human life. Thou shall not steal. Respect for property rights is another universally recognized principle. Theft undermines social trust and economic stability, making its prohibition essential for any orderly society. The Eighth Commandment's prohibition against stealing aligns with this principle, promoting respect for others' property and the integrity of economic transactions. As societies developed, the concept of property rights became essential for economic stability and social order, leading to laws against stealing. Inst Truthfulness is crucial for justice and social harmony. Perjury and deceit are condemned in many legal systems as they erode the foundations of trust and justice. The Ninth Commandment's prohibition against bearing false witness emphasizes the importance of honesty and integrity in maintaining social order and justice. Ensuring the integrity of the judicial system has always been crucial for justice. Perjury undermines the legal process, so prohibitions against it are fundamental to many legal systems. Thou shall not commit adultery. Fidelity in relationships is a value upheld across various cultures. Adultery is seen as a breach of trust and a threat to family stability, which is a cornerstone of societal structure. The Seventh Commandment's prohibition against adultery aligns with this universal principle, promoting marital fidelity and family integrity. Across cultures, adultery has often been condemned because it threatens the stability of the family unit, which is considered the foundational building block of society. Maintaining fidelity within marriage is seen as essential for social order. Honor thy father and thy mother. This principle is found in many traditions, including Confucianism, Hinduism, and indigenous belief systems. The Fifth Commandment's directive to honor one's parents promotes family cohesion and respect for authority, which are essential for maintaining social harmony. This 